it is an complete course project please learn them in order this is part 1 modeling and materials okay before we get into the actual caustic project you need to set the project folder it's really important because we are not only do modeling so after we model we want to apply some materials and shaders and we want to light our caustic scenes so go to file and choose project window so i will choose new project i will choose my project name of caustics so here i want to choose my location of uh, my d drive so I'm, i i will select and give accept so go to front view so go to create and choose cv curve tool and go to cv curve tool option box and you want to choose 3 cubic so i will close my settings so you want to draw from center of grid so i will click over here click over here so you want to do like this now i want to go up so if you have done any mistake like this you want to use backspace to undo so i will draw like this so you want to go like this so you want to end up up to here so like this so if you want to adjust something right click and choose control vertex i will select this control vertex and press w and move little bit like this so you want to place exactly in center of grid select this control vertex hold the x in keyboard when you move in x so it will automatically snap on our grid points so i want to snap exactly in center of grid same here i will select this control vertex hold the x in keyboard and move in x it will automatically snap in center of grid so now right click and choose object mode go to perspective so i will see my curve go to mesh display sorry mesh tools sorry surfaces and choose revolve option box i want to reset my settings so go to edit and reset settings so i want to choose y so because it will be revolve in y direction so now i want to give segments to 16 and i definitely want to choose polygons and give control points so that means the vertex will be converted as a segment so i will choose control points and give revolve so now i got my uh, exact shape of my crystal cup so see here it will be reverse lighting so you will check your model also it will be reverse or not using lighting turn off this one so in normal it will be on so that means you cannot able to see it will the lighting will be reverse or not so you definitely turn off this two side lighting now i click on this crystal cup go to mesh display and choose reverse so now our lighting will be reversed so i select this object go to edit delete by type and choose history so now i select my nerve scopes over here so press 4 in keyboard you able to see select the nerve scope and press delete in keyboard so now press 5 in keyboard to see the shaded mode so i will select the space shift double click on the space shift right click and choose extrude face so here you need to give thickness of 0.2 and give offset to 0.2 or 0.1 i will turn off this one keep face together off that means each and every face will be split and i will give thickness to 0.1 so it's enough so now when i click on outside so now you got this now right click and choose edge any of the edge shift right click and choose insert edge loop option box i will reset my tool 
so I will insert my edge loop exactly in center now press W and go to object mode I will select this object press 3 in keyboard so that means you got some details for our uh, crystal cup so see here here you see the hole will be happen like this when I press 1 you cannot able to see when I press 3 you, you can able to see here so it's a very uh, minute problem because the center vertex will not be merged so I will select this vertex and click and drag see here our vertex will not be merged in center so I click and drag like this and select my top vertex don't select the bottom vertex so you want to only select the top vertex shift right click now go to merge vertex and choose merge vertex to center so now in object mode I will select my object press 3 in keyboard see now it's clean up so of both sides so I want to clear my history go to edit delete by type and choose history so now I want to rename my object so go to window outliner so I select my revolved surface I double click on here so this is a crystal cup C R Y S T A L underscore C U F C U P 0 1 so now we want to make crystal balls inside of our um, crystal cup so go to curves and surfaces click on no sphere so sometimes it will not place in center of grid so I will delete this one go to create no primitives disable the interactive creation so that means when you click on no sphere it will automatically created in center of grid press R and scale in mid press W you want to make sure keep exactly in center so go to front view press 4 in keyboard so press W and move in up like this so I will move this side press ctrl D and move in this side so go to perspective press 5 in keyboard now I select this both object using shift and move this one in this side so press ctrl D and move another duplicate over here like this so I will select this object press ctrl D and move in up so you want to place this one center of our uh, four crystal balls like this so you want to check it will be overlap or not so you cannot overlap anywhere So like this so now I want to rename my all uh, crystal ball objects so I will select all my crystal balls using shift so otherwise go to window outliner so I will select all my node sphere using control so I will select all my nerve sphere using control over here so go over here so nearby my hyper shade option so click on this one so and click on this and choose rename so I will rename my objects of crystal underscore ball zero one so and press enter so that means all my objects should be renamed so it's very useful option so now I want to apply materials so before that I want to set my uh, ground over here so I will click on polyplane press R and scale little bit bigger so I want to scale wider like this so I didn't want any divisions for my uh, ground plane so I will give a subdivision width and height to 1 
so I want to rename my object go to window and choose outliner so I will select my polyplane and rename as ground G R O U N D so now I want to apply my ground material as Lambert so right click and choose assign new material and choose Lambert so I will rename my Lambert of ground underscore Lambert 01 so I will give some dark color so 70 percent gray so now I select my crystal cup right click and choose assign new material and choose blend so because it's an, a transparent object so I will increase my transparency full so I will choose my transparency color to very light blue so very minute blue over here so like this very tiny blue so I will give little bit blue over here so now I select my blend so I want to rename my blend so this is an crystal underscore cup underscore blend 01 so I will press enter so now I want to give uh, materials for my crystal balls so I will select crystal ball 1 right click and choose assign new material and choose blend so I will give um, transparency to full so I will give somewhat color over here so I will give some red color so very tiny bit red for my objects so now I want to select my crystal ball tool right click and choose assign new material and choose blend so now I want to increase transparency to full so I want to rename this as a crystal underscore ball underscore blend so this one is 0 2 so I will give 0 2 and I want to choose my transparency color to um, green so I will give very light green over here for my material so go to shading and choose wireframe on shader that means you able to see our transparent material clearly so I will select my crystal ball 3 right click and choose assign new material so you want to apply same blend so you want to give 100% transparency I want to choose my color to yellow so give light yellow to our don't give pure yellow so you want to give very little yellow for our objects I want to rename my material so this one is crystal underscore blend so sorry ball underscore blend 0 3 so you want to do same thing for crystal ball 4 so I will select my um, crystal ball 4 right click and choose assign new material and choose blend so I want to rename my object as crystal underscore ball underscore blend 4 so I want to give 100% transparency so I will uh, choose my color to um, orange like this so I will give somewhat orange like this so you will give very light orange so like this so now I want to select my fifth crystal ball right click and choose assign new material and give same blend so now I want to give 100% transparency so now I want to give transparency color to pink so I will give light pink for our uh, crystal ball 5 so I want to rename my objects so I will give crystal underscore ball underscore blend 
zero five and enter so now we apply basic materials to our object so i will select this plane i will scale a little bit bigger in this side so like this now we apply some uh, basic materials to our objects so we will see on part 2 click the button to learn part 2 lighting and composition 